Jack Spade back here with you, High Noon Leatherworks, for another leather adventure. And today, we're going to finish the Heritage Bark Keep Western Style Holster. So come on in, and let's get started. Alright, so we've got all the stitching done from the last episode. Uh, we're getting ready to wet form and finish this up with our Heritage Bar Keep. We're going to take some uh, saran wrap, plastic wrap, whatever you want to call it, uh, clear, flexible wrap. Um, I've actually uh, somehow don't have my, I think I ripped my cutter off there, um, it's off the box. So I'm just going to pull this out over my cutting board here my mat and I want to make sure that I pull enough out that I can wrap the barkeep up enough to keep it nice and safe and away from the moisture so I'm not gonna run water over this I'm not gonna put it in uh, the holster and run water over it. You'll see how I do that in a second. But what I need to do is cut some of this saran wrap or clear plastic wrap and then I'm going to fold that over, fold it up from the bottom over the muzzle of the barrel and then I'm going to fold it over and up toward the hammer. So what that does is that covers the entire frame of the pistol and that will keep all the moisture off of it as I put it into the holster. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, so I'm at the kitchen sink now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my water and get it warm. And I want it, I don't want it so hot that I can't keep my hand under it. So if it gets to that point, turn it down until it's still hot but you can actually keep your hand under it. It's not going to burn your skin. So it's hot, but it's not burning my skin at this point. You can see on the holster before I put it in the water, that's not even wanting to go in hardly at all into that holster but we made the pattern off of that revolver off of that barkeep so we know this is the right size it's just that the leather is so stiff that we could force it in there but then it would be really tight to get out so we're going to go ahead put the leather under the running hot water Again, it's not so hot that I can't hold my hands under it. And as that hot water runs over that, the leather, you'll feel it starts getting really soft, really supple. And you can see, real pliable. So, one of the things I want to do while it's like that, we'll go ahead and turn the water off. While it's like that, is I want to round the top edge a little bit so that the cylinder of the revolver doesn't hang up on the edge. And it, it's very subtle. doesn't take much at all just to round that lip a little bit. And you can see I'm just taking my thumb and rounding it around my finger. 
and you can really see it on this side you can see where I've rounded that and it's just subtle you don't want a big flat area or anything just round enough to where that cylinder is going to go through there then you take the revolver and you push it down into the holster until we get our depth that we want with our barrel our trigger guard is covered probably 80 percent of the way and then we can start actually forming that holster around the revolver so you can see I'm just using my thumbs and my fingers to form that around the cylinder the frame the trigger guard and the barrel and you can see where I formed it around all right this is a little bit better lighting back on the bench but you can see now how it's all formed I've got that top lip opened up just a hair just so it goes in and out with it doesn't catch on the cylinder at all and you can see how now that goes in and out of there real nice now another thing I like to do at this point is take a scrap piece of leather the same size as an average belt which this one is uh, an inch and three quarters wide and I made this belt loop that would go up to two inches if if need be let's take that out this this is still moist from the hot water and you can see still how stiff it is even though it's still moist and I'm flattening that out so that I can get that belt through there let's see if I can grab it with a pair of needle nose here we go and I'll pull that through and I, this starts out at one and three quarters and ends up about two inches so I'm pulling that through to make sure that I'm getting right up to that two inch mark so up to a two inch belt will fit in there and the only reason I'm doing that and this is just a scrap piece of leather the only reason I'm doing that is so that I know this is not going to be a problem once this dries but this is going to a belt's going to go through there with no problem. Again, now that it's wet, that belt's pulled through there. We can put our revolver back in there, make sure that uh, all of our forming is still good. And this will stay uh, pliable like that. Now, I normally let it dry with the gun in it for approximately two hours then I'll take it out and then I'll let it dry I'll hang it from uh, a peg off a pegboard or something so that there's no weight or anything on it and uh, I'll hang it empty and let it dry overnight then I can go ahead and put my finish on it uh, my sheen whatever it is I'm gonna put on it my protectant and then it's finished I think that tiger striped look with that light colored 
grip looks really sweet. So there's another project completed. That's the Western style holster for the Heritage Barkeep. So next time you come back, I'll have a new project started, and uh, we'll move on from there. So I appreciate you coming along. I like spending this time doing these types of things, and I like sharing them with you guys. Uh, I had uh, a subscriber that asked me if they could get a copy of the pattern I used for this project. And... Uh, I'll make sure that I put a, uh, in the description, I'll make sure I put a link to an email. And if you want to email me, uh, I'll, I'll talk with you about how I'll get you that, a copy of that. Because I'd love to share them with you. So uh, let me know. I'll, I'll put the email link down below. Um, and... Just click on that and email me and we'll go from there. So, like I always say, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the subscribers so much. Uh, the channel's growing and I, I couldn't be happier. So, please tell your friends, share the videos, and uh, hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. So, until next time, see you.